In a week, one of Charlotte's most notorious criminals will be released from prison. Former Carolina Panthers player Ray Carruth served nearly 18 years for planning his girlfriend's murder. As Carruth's release date approaches us, Eyewitness News reporter Mark Becker sat down with the first officer to get to the scene of that crime. And he learned the first of its kind evidence that helped lead to Ray Carruth's conviction. It began as a night at the movies, a football star and his pregnant girlfriend driving to a South Charlotte theater with two tickets to a film called The Bone Collection. He needs her to go where he can't. As she drove home from the theater that night, Sharika Adams had no idea that she was about to become the victim in a very real murder mystery, one where the prime suspect would be her boyfriend, Carolina Panther Ray Carruth. Ralph Carmel Road. I remember exactly where I was. Peter Grant was the first officer to get to Sharika that night. The driver's side window of her car had been shattered with five bullet holes, but somehow she was alive. She's obviously conscious talking. She's in, in somewhat of a state of shock at that point in time. I'm trying to get the information of who she is, and she's more concerned about telling me that her baby's daddy was the one who... That her baby's daddy was the one who yep. did it. Yeah. Did you suspect him from the beginning? Well, you had to. I mean, Sharik Adams called in and said that uh, pretty much named his, him as stopping in front of her, and she believed that he was involved in it. Sergeant Tom Athey led the investigation, and they would start by talking with Ray Carruth. First interview, he's, he's basically still the bereaved boyfriend and father, and you know, he's, he don't know what happened. Before they left, Athey casually asked Carruth to see his cell phone. It would be the key to unlocking the case. Right. We knew what numbers he was calling and what numbers was, were calling Ray. That was kind of the first time we ever used cell phone triangulation to pinpoint a location. At first, Carruth had told them he was miles away when the shooting happened. But the towers would tell a different story. You knew he was lying. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt, we knew. You can see more of Mark's report in a primetime special that our Channel 9 team is putting together, Life After Death, Ray Carruth and the Son Who Survived. It airs this Friday at 9, right here on Channel 9.